Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Prince Akeem, and today we're talking about the movie Coming to America and In My Opinion. Why are we talking about a movie that came out back in 1988? Um, simple, because uh, there's possible talks in a sequel that will probably come out in 2020. Um, and what is Coming to America for people who don't know? It's a movie that made uh, Eddie Murphy famous back in 1988 that was directed by John Landis who did um, you know if you don't know things he's been in he's done you know stuff like um, let me think of uh, Spies Like Us um, uh, Blues Brothers um, uh, Trading Places stuff with Dan Aykroyd Chevy Chase back in the 80s that were comedies and such also a side note and for legal reasons I'll say he accidentally killed a guy on the Twilight Zone set uh, with a helicopter anyway I mean, I guess technically he didn't do it, and it's not the point. Anyway, we're talking about uh, Coming to America. It's a great movie. If you ever get a chance to watch Coming to America, I love it. Um, it's one of my favorite movies, and it's uh, one of the reasons why I love Eddie Murphy in general. Um, a lot of people, you know, take the, the point of uh, The Nutty Professor or Shrek, and, and, and those are two good characters, I guess. Not what I think that he was uh, great and known for. As far as back in the 80s with the movies like Beverly Hills Cop, Coming to America, uh, Trading Places. I named that earlier about uh, movies that were um, directed by John Landis. And I think that what I want from this and why it's in, in my opinion in general is because I want to focus on what I want from this movie. And that is this sequel I want to just be from the heart. I don't want it to be something that is kind of thrown together to try to make money. Um, I think if Eddie Murphy's on board, that's great. Arsenio Hall is back. And, and, and a lot of people have said that they're up for a sequel to do. And that'd be great. That'd be absolutely wonderful. If you Again, if you ever get a chance, I'm going to say this multiple times to get to chance to see that movie. You should uh, check it out. Um, it's a good movie. Um, and in, in general, it's, it's just a great movie that I, I want to just recommend to people because it's one of my favorites as far as Eddie Murphy is concerned and it's just you know it's a great movie that and Beverly Hills Cop are one of my two favorites by him and so pretty much yeah that that's pretty much it my point is is that for this new movie that supposedly this plot is uh, rumored to be taking a place around a son that he is a strained or um, you know maybe a, a son that he doesn't know about something like that which again if you uh, I'm gonna recommend it again to see coming to America um, uh, if you've ever seen the original it it wouldn't make sense for that to be happening as far as the plot but I mean it I mean I guess anything's possible as far as the story goes um, but anyway I, I, my, I my my fear came in about this and why I wanted to do it in my opinion is because I'm worried that something like, um, you know, for this this story or this, um, you know, sequel, that um, someone like, I don't know, as far as casting his son, you know, someone like um, Kevin Hart be cast for it. Um, you know, someone with a lot more star power and not putting in actual, you know, someone who could uh, make it believable and just make it a fun movie. I, I, I'm, I'm worried that a lot of people trying to focus on trying to get who's big right now at the time when they make movies and it's just it's kind of annoying um i wish very much that they just did what felt right as far as casting um one of my uh big things is that i wanted it for a while and i thought this before they even you know decided on you know announcing or making about talks about a sequel with this movie um there is a character if you ever watch uh, new girl um I have a hard time pronouncing his name. Anyway, um, he plays Winston on New Girl. Um, I feel like he'd be a perfect uh, casting for Eddie Murphy's son in that movie, in Coming to America. In general, I think with everyone being on board for the movie, even even James Earl Jones, who's in it, um, I think it'd be a great idea to you know just do a movie where everyone is back for it, and people who enjoy the movie can you know just enjoy it. Um, but, I don't know, my, my complaint is that I'm really excited for this. Um, you guys will see in the coming, I guess, year or so. I'll keep on updating on this because it's one of my favorite movies and I think it's something that um, should get a sequel that shouldn't be too done up by trying to make money by a star power and, you know, just making a sequel for the sake of it. I want it to be, you know, real and, and hopefully this is something where it's it's really thought into and and put into a good 
you know, concept for a movie and not just kind of put together just so they can have, you know, these characters back on TV, or on the screen, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, what are my opinion? what are your opinions? Share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear you guys. If you've ever seen Coming to America, if you've ever seen New Girl, you know who I'm talking about, who plays Winston. Um, if he'd be a perfect part for uh, that role. Or, you know, who you think would be a good idea for his son, I guess, in that movie. Um, uh, or even plot ideas. Anyway, my point is, uh, go see Coming to America. Um, it's been out for so long. I'm sure you could see it on some kind of Netflix or something like that. Point is, go see it. Um, and that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time, and, uh, you, you know, I love you. Bye. Well, combat being a problem still, or just violent video games in general, for some reason we have to tax that, it, it just, it's annoying. It's annoying the fact that, that that's a thing that we have going on still to this day. Um, video games shouldn't be the reason why there's violence 